any queries you can put it uh, in the chat box and we will get it uh, to the queries as and when uh, the time permits or when the situation comes up so uh, for trial for just showing you the power of uh, uh, the uh, power bi desktop let us take something on so this is a real challenge like fetching the data in real time and fetching the data directly from website as and when they are updated uh, in first example i will just pick one table from uh, today's sunday so the market is not live so uh, what i'll do i will pick some table from here uh, let's say we can uh, pick this table up uh, we will try to pick up this table and let's see how it goes uh, in power bi directly and <clears throat> just to keep track uh, track of time and just to show you how efficient power bi is it is showing uh, i'm starting this whole step at around 11 11 as the time is showing on my pc Uh, don't worry about the steps a lot uh, because we will taking care of in the courses as well and uh, the things that I, uh, the things that we're doing uh, today you will be able to find or manage easily it's just that i want to showcase you the uh, the effectivity and effectiveness of the effectiveness and efficiency of power bi in doing some work which we otherwise thought to be tough or hard or time consuming so right now it is going through the whole website and preparing our suggestion for ourselves if we'll see it has created all the tables and everything uh, that it has gathered from there and it is ready to be pulled up and unlike uh, python and some coding tools if you will see it's around in the middle right the data that we want to pick up so even in power bi you can just assure it will be somewhere in the mid 29 15 it's not here not a problem we'll try 14 it's not there we'll try 16 yeah here it is all the data is there you just have to i'm just loading it here in the power bi now If the time permits, we will show you one or two more examples to showcase how efficiently it does the data transformation and other steps. But let's see it here. The data largely looks okay. I just want to keep these column headers in actual in row. I'll just transpose them. It is largely okay as of now and that's it if you will see the numbers are all uh, the this is all converted into numbers by uh, automatically the dates are converted into automatically the headers have been taken now i'll just close and apply and i'll show you a simple line graph <coughs> created from this data and just to add another thing the same thing you can do it in excel as well what i have done right now but excel doesn't uh fetches the data as and when you want it suppose i save this file and open it two quarters later maybe after six months or seven months and when i'll refresh this file it will automatically fetch the data for june 2020 quarter and september 2020 quarter as well if it is uploaded on uh, our source which is money control anyway so let's go to visualization i am keeping things simple here uh, just putting a line chart which is already provided and let me put uh, the axis if you remember we uh, put the date on the axis so that's what i'm putting and let me put So here it is. So you will see the uh, you will see one uh, beautiful thing about here that it has already uh, done a summation on the year, which can easily break into month, or you can easily break it into the quarters. So these things, which are inbuilt in Power BI, are a great help when you talk about the finance industry. 
also i'll give a very quick demo of the slicer tool and if i put our dates here you can see how beautifully we can just select the dates as if uh, it is done very professionally and looks very great especially to senior management so uh, this was the first example and it took us less than five minutes to uh, identify the data to pull the data inside and to do the basic uh, turning around it however till now i must confess that we haven't done anything great that couldn't be done on excel with the second example i'll uh, show you uh, something that is really powerful and that will show you the uh, the efficiency of power bi and with that i'll if the time allows i'll also show you some limitations which are generally not covered in power bi courses and we will try to cover those <clears throat> so with the second example let's say a uh, few days back it was, uh, news was coming that india has touched a new record high of the forex exchange reserve which is a great uh, uh, proxy for uh, uh, forex uh, foreign exchange reserve which is a great proxy for a country uh, to battle the odds like uh, COVID-19 situation or other situations where the cost of import increases etc So here we have a list of countries where foreign exchange reserves and this you can see that you cannot directly pull it down to excel because if you will directly try to pull it down it will create some breakages and some problems with the links and as you can see you cannot directly select the text as well let me try it in power bi It will take some time to read uh, <clears throat> the website because it reads and it also categorizes the table and other content which it receives for you and this this time luckily we are in luck the name was clearly there yeah it looks okay so let's get it to <clears throat> So here the number is the first step I'll do. You, so you can see that the is still taking it uh, the country or region and foreign exchange reserves are just another data point. This is not data point. These are headers for our content. So I'll move it there. And mm, yeah, there is one problem here. You will see the foreign exchange reserves, which are actually numbers, are being taken up by Power BI as text. ABC. Why it is happening? Because of these note, uh, notation and the citation which were used in Wikipedia. It has removed most of the citations otherwise, but these uh, it cannot be able to remove. Similarly, we will see in Taiwan and China. So not a problem there. Uh, this takes around. Uh, this takes. Uh, uh, this, uh, this can be resolved very quickly. But for the sake of time here, I'll for the moment I'll just remove. <coughs> these points as uh, as uh, errors and i'll move ahead i'll just remove errors and that will take care of it let me just go through the data once more if anything else need cleaning mostly nothing else needs cleaning i'll just close and apply it Here I have selected a map type and I will just put table 16 is no longer required. I'll put the location as the country and foreign exchange is something that I'm interested in seeing the size of. So you will see <clears throat> that we have a graph now in front of us where you can see the relative sizes of the foreign exchange reserves. And this is all drawn uh, by uh, by default by excel and this is drawn very quickly uh this now 
here is what our focus on our course uh, at, here i would like to tell one point where we are focusing on our course uh, yeah maybe here will be a good example uh, in europe you can see uh, that almost all the bubbles are very similar but this is not the case those of you who would be following our news and etc would quickly understand that there's some problem with this the reserves of germany whatever they be cannot directly be compared to hungary or netherlands let's see the numbers uh, by the way if you just hover on power bi you will get all the numbers and all the relevant data you can also select what data you want to see so it talks about so we're talking about around 45 billion of forex for netherlands <clears throat> and we are talking about 245 billion of uh, forex for germany this is interesting that the forex of germany is lesser than india but we'll come to that later so, so the, the point is uh, that this bubble should come around five times of that Netherlands. This is a known problem of Power BI and many a times we in front intelligence felt that these problems are not catered by uh, <clears throat> uh, the other Power BI courses in detail because only when you will work in finance, you will work in industry and you will create these graphs, then you will face such challenges and the solution to it. However, uh, let me solve this problem for you uh, for the moment. This problem occurs because <clears throat> of a limitation of Power BI where it won't show each and every data point at all the times, even if they are very low. And in this case, even if they are, let's say, less than a billion dollars. So let me see if I can do something on Actually, this is what something I'm looking for. This, uh, this is the metadata of Wikipedia. And mostly this will work. Let me pull it down here in our Power BI. And uh, just to tell you, these data points, the colors, etc., everything you can play around, but that is not for us to do here in today's session. It will again take some time. <clears throat> Oh, luckily there's only one table here. Hopefully this is the table that we are looking for. Yes, this is the table that we are looking for. Uh, yeah, that is all the data looks okay. Let's see how it turns out to be. Mm. <clears throat> And just to remind you, this is just an example we have taken from web uh, because uh, it's easily replicable. It is available to all of us. Uh, you can also do it on your own later. <clears throat> so now we have country, region, and <clears throat> foreign exchange. Uh, here I'll tell you one more uh, capability of Power BI. In Excel, if you are linking two different files, you have to use VBA and you have to keep those files active. Uh, in Power BI, you don't need to do any of this. You just need to go here, tell the PowerPoint that <clears throat> essentially the country or region that we are talking, the, just one second. The country or region that we are talking about uh, between the foreign exchange reserves and the source please understand i must reiterate that we are actually linking in our data model two different website pages coincidentally they were both wikipedia but in all practicality they could be any two sites of the world and you can link those two and uh, you can trust Power BI that it will understand that Lebanon of foreign exchange reserves links to the country that is here and we will see how it works then. So you see one on one relationship is happening here. Now let's see how we can use this relationship. I'll put a slicer here and this is the foreign exchange reserves from which this map is made and this is the sources from which we created our relationship. Now, if I just click on Europe, you will see that our problem is resolved. And now 
it is still not pipe times because there's a power bi limitation but you still have a good idea that germany is definitely much larger has much larger power uh, foreign currency reserves in compared to netherlands <coughs> or for example hungary so these are small tweaks and there are many challenges uh, in formatting which can be resolved very very easily and you can create very powerful graphs uh, very powerful uh, things because it's, it's it, it just gives you so many options and so many powers. You, you can see it goes up to the city, city level in Power BI itself. If, if you are creating sometime, something in future uh, related to Indian financial data or fee income or uh, uh, even foreign currency data and other things. I have for you the demonstration purposes uh, pulled this ready made <clears throat> dashboard which was available on microsoft uh, power bi is a sample this essentially talks about procurement analysis uh, th this will also help you understand few more powerful uh, aspects of power bi uh, this is a final dashboard looks like and trust me it's very basic uh, with our course or with some effort you would be able to create much more meaningful and much more beautiful uh, dashboards which will make a lot of sense and which will make uh, which will give you a lot of data insights around the things so uh, the power bi you can choose to link different graphs what this means is this suppose i select indirect goods and services you see that automatically only the intra indirect gets selected here and even the total invoice by tiering you can see how much of the tiering in tier one how much of the total invoice the total invoice from here to here in the light green and out of that 48 million dollar was because of indirect goods and services such kind of facilities <clears throat> are provided in the light in the real time by power bi and here i'll show you one more time i'll this time i have linked these three graphs this time you will see the light green part has gone and only indirect goods and services 48 million dollar is shown such and so many different kind of flexibilities are possible at uh, possible by power bi and you can just play around the data if uh, uh, in earlier example uganda suppose uh, the senior manager wants to just see it as a table you can just go around and see the data in table as well in the real time so these are the examples actually we are running out of time we have already uh, reached around uh, <clears throat> half an hour of our time i would prefer to more, uh, spending some time with you on our uh, on the course content and what is the structure that we have thought about it and uh, just to uh, give you uh, some background over it uh, some of you might have heard uh, from me on the on career and risk management the session that i took and there i give a brief background about my uh, past experience sorry i missed it out giving here so i'm ankit and i have been working in the industry for the last 10 years and it's just a coincidence or i feel myself very lucky in that that i have been reporting to pretty senior management right now also i'm reporting it to a global head uh, before that also i always reported into the regional heads or uh the journal heads at the uh, at the very least and my super bosses like uh, <laughs> you generally create your uh, i realize that you generally create your decks and presentation of super bosses only bosses are something that you are in a regular touch with right so i have created uh, presentations for the indian banks and mncs at the top level and uh, at cxo's level and based on those experience i have tried to create this course <clears throat> the learning outcome of the course uh they, while they have written so many things the relevance of power bi effective application of pbi data consumption my main so uh, my main uh, uh goal while uh running this course would be and my expectation from uh those who take this course would be that once they have taken this course uh they know how to use the data how to apply uh power bi capabilities and not only that more than that they know which graph to use in what situation sounds 
very simple and very easy to hear about it but even what colors to use to reflect uh, your data point more efficiently you uh, those of you who might be aware of it a histogram can never be used where a bar graph is used and even there are unwritten rules about using a column bar chart vis-a-vis -a, -vis a horizontal bar chart so those kind of things we will look about obviously we will give you a extensive information on what are the pbi data transformation capabilities of, and how and uh, the dax formulas and all the power bi visualization the custom visualization which are not there in the excel for example and finally the dashboardings etc how we will do it we have planned a module based structure where we will give you 15 plus hours of live training uh, on under functionalities but giving just the lecture and the training will not help in our opinion so each of our session will be followed up by the home assignment you can call it home assignment you can call it homework but there will always be the assignments which you are supposed to complete on your own next session uh, we will earmark 15 or 20 minutes of the time of around one hour of session only for resolving the queries or to give you a handhold guidance on the assignments whether you have done the assignments or not whether you faced any challenges or whether it's anything else that you want to add it for those we will give you hand uh, hand holding at each and for each and every assignment after the completion of the this 15 hours we, uh, we will give you a certification on of successful completion of the course all the notes and everything that we use the video etc you will have the backup of all of this for at least six months and on our intelligence mobile app optionally in addition to the learning the power bi you can also opt for a project workshop which we have planned to give a real industry exposure of real industry projects for example uh, analysis of an industry or analysis of forex markets which uh, for which we will guide you and we will help you in creating a whole project which you can later uh, showcase on linkedin if you want we can uh, put it on our website so uh, in your resume maybe you can also just the give uh, the link of intelligence a site with your project and people can just go there open it and see your project and see your work what are the modules that we have planned here the modules would be the introduction to power bi your first visualization table and matrix visualization which are still uh, a very popular uh, visualization type in the world uh, formattings and a specific of formatting option like there are a lot of formattings but almost all those formatting you will hit a roadblock somewhere so what are those roadblocks how to evade the, those roadblocks and what exactly look good and what doesn't look so good and uh, all these we will be training you our data transformation and DAX formula we have kept somewhere in the middle of the course. <clears throat> when you will compare it with other courses on Udemy and Microsoft courses, you will see that data transformation and DAX formula is something that they kept in very starting of the course because these are the places where PBI, Power BI actually excels. Like it works an amazing job. But in industry, I want to tell this very very clear to you like even if you are not very good with data transformation and DAX formulas you can always go do the data transformations apply the logics in, onto your excel file and then in, import that excel file into power bi effectively there won't be any difference in your final output <clears throat> hence we have kept in the mid after you are well aware of power bi you you can create visualization you can create formatting you can use buttons cross filtering drill rounds etc having said that we will do a thorough uh, training in data transformation and dax formulas and then we will move to a special charts which are custom visualizations as well and some of the charts like waterfall charts which are generally tougher to create in excel which are created very quickly in power bi uh, in model 8 only we will go to the connecting to the other sources like access text file and pdf json just for the completion so that you understand how the different courses are connected and depending upon 
like many of you can may not have the access at your place or many of you may not understand json so depending upon that depending upon the requirement and depending upon the field the where you particularly are working will give you home assignments also related to connecting to multiple sources as well in the last part of the section you remember when we talked about that the power bi can also be used in mobile apps sadly uh, pbi mobile services are not available as free to retail users but we will try to give you uh, arrange an access for you and we will also show you how power bi pro and pbi mobile app etc works uh, while you can put down your uh, questions now in chat and query and i will answer them i would like to tell you about the prices for the power bi training where we will give you 15 plus hours of live training uh, along with assignments and hand holding uh, <coughs> Uh, sessions and help on those assignments for that we are charging 3000 rupees for power bi project workshop if, if you are already aware of power bi and you are already hands-on experience with power bi you can directly take power bi project workshop and for that we are charging 2000 rupees uh, if you want to take power bi training and project both uh, uh, we will uh, give a discount and the total cost will be 4500 uh, you can post your queries now or you can post your queries later and con connect with us on the WhatsApp on 9819-137880. Uh, but just to give you an idea, uh, this particular project, the Power BI for Finance, uh, is not something that we are, have, uh, we are doing in mind with a lot of earning or anything. If you will just compare with the charges uh, of the other websites, uh, we found out the charges to be around 8000 rupees for a certification course and there also they were not industry specifics however uh, 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 the, the, uh, the choice is yours and i'm open to all the queries some of the other services that Fintelligence offers by the way is frm training cfa training erp training uh, and also the financial modeling and all the video lectures uh, lectures are available on the <clears throat> all the video lectures are available on the app so that was all from my end for power bi i am open to queries please let me know in case of any queries if there are no queries i can uh, move on to close the session and you can take out uh, take the uh, queries in the <clears throat> in the next session uh, and later on phone or WhatsApp. Uh, Ganesh, over to you. If there are no queries, we can end the session here and we can uh, take the queries yeah. off. So, yes, yes, yes. Thank you very much, Ankit. I, I hope you yeah. can hear me properly. Yeah, I can hear you loud and clear. Okay. And uh, thank you very much for this wonderful session. Uh, I've, I've shared my screen uh, basically just to so that uh, people can see what I'm basically talking about. And uh, primarily, uh, uh, this, this uh, I've got few queries also from from the students i'll try to i'll, I'll try to ask this question directly to you so primarily uh, madhusudan sir is asking how how power bi can be diff okay so how do power bi will help us to connect with the legacy system okay that essentially means uh, if, if an organization has some legacy system related to them how they can help they can use power bi to uh, enhance their visualization there are two ways that it can be done uh, thanks for asking this question because there are uh, no matter how long uh, this question is very relevant and thanks for the question uh, because many a times no matter how exhaustive you create the list of the sources there always be some system which your uh, organization is using for let's like, say last 20 years and that will not be captured in power bi or any other tool for that matter tableau python anything so there are two ways to do it the first way 
if your organization uh, adopts power bi in the longer run you can ask uh, the it team which is uh, the it support team or it production support team for that particular legacy system to share your api with power bi power bi has the capability to uh, load those api and interact with this legacy system in question through those apis however if that is not possible that that can happen that is not possible because it teams are sometimes uh, very busy or very occupied or sometimes uh, being at a legacy system they would not even understand uh, everything in it in fact such a system exists in goldman sachs to the best of my knowledge and they actually train uh their resources particularly for maintaining that system if, if if it is that system and something like that you can always pull uh the extract from that system in form of excel or text or csv or even a database form and those database uh, formats etc will always be readable by power bi i hope that answered the question ganesh yeah, yeah thank you thank you ankit so there are few more questions which i will directly take because it is more related to the uh, uh, core structure and all correct me if Go i'm ahead. wrong on that part so yeah. dhara primarily uh, dhara is asking what is the course duration how many days it will work and uh, when the lectures will be conducted so dhara primarily the uh, motive uh, of this entire uh, thing was to conduct sessions only on weekends okay but uh, they will see we'll have a discussion once we can complete the batch so probably because we plan to give assignments also so ideally what we were initially thinking is to have a session on wednesday, uh, sunday and wednesday evening okay but we uh, we are also thinking of keeping only saturdays and sundays and focus uh, more sessions on that so primarily as you can see on the screen uh, mm -hmm. the session will start next week and it will continue for one month so it will be basically for the duration of one month and we'll try to cover entirely on weekends and the assignment difficulty level the next question from dhara itself that assignment difficulty level will not be very tough okay and do not worry on that part because what we are uh, primarily doing is is that we we are helping we'll be helping you uh, with this solution also in the next session the next evening session and that will get recorded because that will become a part of the session itself and that will be available for you for your preparation okay in terms of uh, 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 there was one more question with respect to uh, the system requirement from other going forward sorry 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 to cut you yeah. in ganesh can, can i just add something no here no yeah. I'll just add two things here. I, I want to make it very clear here that the optional uh, project workshop that we are giving that will be in addition to this month, uh, this one month duration. A, uh, B, regarding the question where the difficulty of the assignments have been asked by uh, 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 by the attendee, uh, Ms. Dhara, I understand. So uh, the assignments that will be given to you is will only be based on what i have shown you or what we have presented you what we have taught you on that particular day for example the first is first day suppose i uh, teach uh, let's say bar chart I, I i give you all the specific for bar chart how to create a bar chart when to create a bar chart etc etc the assignments or for that particular that for that session could be on column charts so it won't be very tough but it is important for us to also know that the audience the attendees and the uh, uh, students are putting in their efforts because otherwise so, uh, slowly and gradually by fourth or fifth session things will become very advanced and it won't it might not be possible for the students to go back and start from the beginning and to catch up okay. over to you ganesh thank you thank you ankit and uh, just to add on to that point the examples that we're going to be taking will be related to finance will be related to business so primarily we'll not uh, we'll not go into very very uh, vague examples that you normally see not in those course yeah in those courses yeah yeah Only and the project and work, yeah and the project work that we are looking at uh, which is an additional one so primarily our idea is that once uh, somebody has completed the training for power bi they should do an entire end-to-end -end visualization, end-to-end -end dashboard creation on their own. Obviously, we'll be there. We'll be there. We'll be guiding and all. But the idea is that that person should be doing one or two proper full project with us. Okay. And that way, for, for example, I just give you a rough example. If somebody is working, doing a project, then he or she can take the entire data from for the company and can create an entire visualization in one or two deck about what that company has been doing for past 10 years okay this will this will give a, a clear understanding to the senior management also and see once you understood the logic once you understand how to use it you can apply it to your own domain also 
okay so somebody might be working in internal audit somebody might be working into uh, other aspect equity research or somebody might be doing into wealth management so the, obviously they will they can use the same logic to uh, work on their data also okay in their offices in their in their professional life because this entire uh, system can be is basically free so you can uh, install in your office also okay so sunil i i the next question was from sunil with respect to timing i am assuming that sunil i have answered your query with respect to the timing will be mostly on saturdays and sundays and uh, we'll we'll try to keep it uh, flexible so that students majority of the students can come and become a part of it okay any any more question you guys can put in put it on the chat uh, box one more thing the one more thing that i would like to add uh, if yeah. you're joining the course uh, please try to get a windows 10 preferably windows 10 laptop windows 7 will also do uh, but preferably windows 10 laptop with a 4 gb plus ram <laughs> Uh, you do not need to have MS Office. MS Office is a paid software and many of you might not be having it or having it doesn't matter. Uh, in that case, uh, you will just need Open Office. Uh, you don't need to worry a, a lot about this because in the first session itself, I will walk you through the complete installation of all the relevant uh, software and how to do it. Yep. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll take on the queries simultaneously during that session. So in case if you're facing any problem with respect to installation, but only few basic things which will inform you beforehand, you have to keep ready so that we do not waste our time on that part. But once we're done with that first session, or everybody will have the Power BI installed on their web, uh, website. They will have, uh, sorry, on their PC, and they will, will be ready for that uh, jump for the, for the visualization piece. And there are so many beautiful things within Power BI that we can do and I, because I've been also using that system, so definitely your data insights become very, very essential, very, very important. Which, as you move move uh, ahead in your career, also, because all in finance, these these uh, systems are going to be used heavily in the near future. Okay, and uh, because you can see that a lot of these banks are investing into fintech, uh, all those technology-driven uh, activity. So definitely your decision making and your data analysis will need those software and having those knowledge pre-hand will definitely make you a good candidate when you look for job change or and look for a particular type of role also. So this is what uh, this was all about the session in case anybody has a particular query. So uh, one more question. Okay, so Madhusudan sir is asking uh, there are some websites which generally requires an ID and password to, to fetch out the data. So how do we deal about do, how do we go about dealing with those, those kind of uh, situation? I can actually show it to him right now, shall I? Yeah, yeah, please. See if you can so, see the screen right now. So for uh, the, the question that you have asked me, we can, I do not want to, no, I cannot show the webcam actually. My internet will create problem. Uh, can I, 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 I do not have the option to, yeah, just give me the presenter right now. I'll, I'll make you the presenter so that you can, uh, you can become the, you can show your screen. So the question that you have asked Madhusudan San, uh, this is the second question I believe from you and again a very relevant question. Thanks for the question. Firstly. So the question that you have asked uh, is, a, is always a concern from uh, uh, from uh, like uh, <clears throat> even uh, when the, uh, this item, uh, this far way was being developed. This is a very relevant question. So if we will show, if we will see here. So I just entered the, uh, you, uh, you can see the screen? Yep, yep, we can. Is, yeah, see, so it will, oh, no, no, this will not work. The problem is that I have already given him the authorization, or uh, already given the site authorization. Let's see if I'll able to show. Because the problem that you've asked is not only about website, it's also about the SharePoint list, it's also about so many other places wherever the authorization is required. So what happens when you try to pull it from any new source ever, uh, then it automatically asks at what level of privileges that you want to apply to get the data. Uh, maybe these are public website and hence it is not doing. 
as well. But let's see. No, from the public website, it is not asking. Otherwise, it will prompt on its own in this area. What is the login ID and password that you want to use? And in fact, it has the extensive capability, Madhusudan San, that it can actually uh, it can directly you can just click on your windows authorization and current windows authorization that you are having in your system will be used to fetch data from those uh, sources sorry i was not able to show it on public websites and i cannot share the login id or passwords for anything else over to no you problem, ganesh no yeah so uh, 